Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsomstudios.co.uk and welcome to the next video in my Studio One 3.5 series. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the brand new Fat Channel XT, which is awesome. The new Fat Channel comes into Studio One in the 3.5 release, courtesy of the new uh, Studio Live Series 3 consoles, which have the brand new Fat Channel um, built into it. So just like they did with the old Studio Live consoles, they developed the Fat Channel uh, for those, but then also made a plug-in version of the same thing for Studio One. So if you don't have the console, you still have access to the Fat Channel. Fat, the original Fat Channel is incredibly popular uh, and is an incredibly good little channel strip. Uh, and the fact that they've updated it um, the way they have, it's now pretty much original fat channel on steroids. It's in, it's just incredible. One of the big, big, big things about this is that now you have access to vintage style EQ and vintage style compression, which is something I have wanted for Studio One for a very long time. Um, because really, seriously, the only other way you could get vintage EQ and compression into Studio One is by third-party plugins, such as uh, the Slate Digital Bundle or the one of the Waves Bundles or by investing in the hardware that comes with the Universal Audio that you have to purchase the hardware and then you get the DSP and all of that and you get all of those incredible plugins that they make as well. So it's a little bit pricey, a little bit expensive to go down that those routes, uh, which is not really going to be available for everybody. So now we now have access to this and it's native in Studio One, so it doesn't cost us a cent or a penny or any other small denomination of money, which is very cool. So, let's take a look at it. Well, when you first open it, you have all of these buttons you can press. High pass filter, gate, EQ, compressor, limiter. And what I like about this particular view, and there are two views you can have, is that uh, when you when you click on one, it swipes to that particular view, which is great. So this is great if I'm wanting to just focus on one particular part of the of the fat channel. Um, but there is another view. There is this stacked view that you can do, which takes up a little bit more screen real estate. But you can have them stacked, so you can have the gate on top, and the EQ, and the compressor, and then the limiter at the bottom. Now, cool thing here is, is that you can switch uh, the position of the EQ and the compressor. You can either EQ into the compressor, which is my pref that's what I prefer to do, or you can have it the other way around. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can have it the other way around if you want. So you can have the compressor first, and then the EQ and the limiter at the end of, of your chain if you're to use all of these as one chain. You have a separate high pass filter which is distinct from your EQ which is excellent uh, so you can set that to whatever you want and then you've got a gate which includes an expander which is very very cool. Uh, I use expanders a lot particularly if I'm doing voiceover work Expander is really great because it, it suppresses room noise and that kind of thing uh, in between when I'm, I'm talking, when I'm not talking. Uh, listen to any of my videos, there's an expander on there. Uh, then you have the compressor and then you have the EQ and these, as I said, are switchable. You can have them whichever way around you want. Now, in the compressor and EQ sections, you have a choice of EQ and compression. So you can have the standard compressor, which is the standard old fat channel compressor uh, with all its standard switches. It's been given a little bit of a makeover, which is nice. And you have the option for a soft knee. Uh, and there's a, there's a sidechain filter, which is very cool. And then on the EQ side of things, you can also have, go back to the standard EQ, which again has had a makeover. Uh, and you can see there that the, the high pass filter that was separate over here, that is separate over here, shows up on um, the screen here for the EQ. 
So this has had a bit of a makeover. It looks a lot smarter, a lot sleeker, which is nice. So you could have your fat channel orientated like this, all stock, original stuff. Or you can have a passive EQ, which um, is a pull tech style EQ with the boost and attenuation at the same frequency area for high and low frequencies, which is very cool. Um, and you get that fantastic Poltec sound that uh, a lot of people who work in consoles know and love. You can also have the Vintage EQ, which is their take on a Neve style EQ. Now, the other night, um, Dave Vignola from Home Recording Made It Easy and myself did a three hour uh, live stream where we went into detail on the FAT channel, we compared the FAT channel to um, third-party plugins that um, were pretty much similar. Uh, and, and we basically see how they stand up to plugin manufacturers who have been in the modeling game for years. Uh, and they came out pretty good. So go to um, Home Recording Made Easy YouTube channel and check that out and you can see a lot more detail than I'm going to go into here. Um, but suffice to say, this is a very nice sounding Neve style EQ. On the compressor front, again, you've got two options. You've got a, a tube compressor, which is um, an LA-2A style compressor with the gain and peak reduction. Also includes um, a sidechain filter again here, which is nice. Uh, the original LA-2A hardware units, they don't have this. But this is a nice little additional feature so that you can roll off some low end from the compressor if you want. Uh, handy little feature, again with the limiter compressor switch, uh, which is nice. Or you can have this FET compressor. The FET compressor is their take on an 1176 style compressor. So you have the ratio selector switch is attack and release. Um, input and output and again you have this nice little uh, sidechain filter which is again I think really really handy but doesn't feature on the original units and of course you have this all buttons in feature which is again really really cool um, which is great if you're wanting to do parallel compression you can just hit the all buttons in and just get like incredibly heavy compression going which is great for for that kind of stuff so there you have it uh, that is pretty much it with the fat channel uh, it really does sound fantastic and it gives you the chance to get third-party style vintage style modeled EQs and compressors into Studio One. So I, I'm expecting a lot of people that use just stock plugins are going to start exploring this like crazy and it's just going to make a massive difference to a lot of your mixes. So go ahead, get stuck into this and enjoy it. And uh, leave a comment below and let me know how you're getting on with it, what you're finding out about um, the, the sound of these units and uh, the difference they make to your mixes. So, until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.